So question 1b, we've got to solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Okay, so in question 1a, we went over the quadratic formula. That's a formula that you need to memorize. Okay. So this we went over this in question 1a and you can see the video for that but this is the quadratic formula if ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 then x equals this okay so um, the thing about the quadratic formula is you need to have it set up in this manner where you've got ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 if you look at this equation it's not set up right yet we have to first of all get 0 on one side and set it up like this and then we can figure out what a b and c are and so on right so the trick is with this is that you have to get 0 on one side so how would we do that how about subtract x from both sides right okay now what I want to do is I want to write this with the x squared term here 3x squared and then the x term minus x and then the plus 1 and that will equal what's x minus x 0 right so now I have this set up in this form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 in fact even better we could write in the coefficient of x what's the, or, or negative x what's the coefficient of negative x is it negative 1 x right so that's even better. Now we can see what a, b, and c are. So what's a? Write this down. b and c. Now if you mess up your a, b, and c's, the whole question's going to be messed up and it'll be completely wrong. And that's the problem with math. If you make one mistake, you're wrong. So we've got to do things neatly, take our time, there's no rush, and get to the end uh, carefully. So what's a, b, and c? a is 3 b is negative 1 and c is 1, right? So x equals, using the formula, right, use your formula, and we have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared parentheses squared minus 4 times parentheses times parentheses all over 2 times parentheses, right? And now we can plug in the values of a, b, and c. So b is negative 1. Can you plug in the rest of the numbers? Right, so b goes here as well, right? Where does a and c go? a goes here, right? c goes here, and a goes down here also, right? Okay, so we have x equals, now calculate this, what's negative negative 1? Positive 1, plus or minus, we'll do this later, that thing all over, what's 2 times 3? 6, right? And again, one, ha one nice way of doing this is to calculate the root part over here, okay? Now we've got negative 1 all squared, right? What's negative 1 all squared? That's negative 1 times itself, isn't it? What's negative 1 times itself? So where negative 1 all squared is negative 1 times itself. See, I'm writing it down, so don't make a mistake. And that's positive 1, right? Then we've got minus 4 times 3 times 1. What does that make? minus 4 times 3 is 12 and times 1 is still the same thing. So all makes negative 12, doesn't it? Minus 12, right? And so this is root of, what's 1 minus 12? Negative. I have 1, I subtract 12, I end up with negative 11, right? Now, we've got to write this with the imaginary unit of i, okay? And you might have learned that that in math we say that root we write we like to write root root negative one with the letter i. We, we call that that's the letter i. Okay, so it's just it's just part of the language of math, right? 
it's something that we've made up okay we like to say that root negative 1 equals i so I'm going to use that to, to rewrite this th thing now negative 11 is in fact negative 1 times 11 isn't it so what we have is the root of negative 1 times 11 now using the product property of roots that can be written as root negative 1 times root 11 okay and how can we write root negative 1 root negative 1 can be written as i so this whole thing becomes i times root 11 okay so we have 1 plus or minus i root 11 okay now it says if the answer is complex write in a plus b i form okay a plus b i form now this is what we have we have a complex number because we have the root of a negative in, in as part of the number okay and so we have to use the, the letter i so once you're we're, we're once we've got a, a negative root we have a complex and we have complex answer here right so first thing I want to do is I want to deal with the plus or minus okay what does plus or minus mean it means that you could have this answer with a plus or you could have the same answer with a minus okay that's what this is what this means plus or minus so I can have one plus i root 11 over 6 or 1 minus i root 11 over 6 okay okay now I want to write this in the form a plus b i okay so what I'm going to show you is you can you can if you have two things being added and they're all divided by the same thing that's actually the same as 1 over 6 plus i root 11 over 6 okay that's it's the same thing as that it's kind of like having two apples plus 10 bananas split equally among two children what would each child get okay wouldn't you have to split the two apples and also split the 10 bananas does that make sense okay so if you had two apples plus ten bananas and the whole thing was divided by two you have to split divide each quantity by two right so each child would get one apple and five bananas right so that's the same with this these two quantities both need to be divided by six and in fact we could also write this with the so one sixth plus and we could write it root eleven over six i in that form okay and similarly this one can be split up to be you know the same thing 1 over 6 but this time minus and this is i root 11 over 6 or root 11 all over 6 i notice also that this 6 doesn't get mi mixed up with the root like don't make the mistake of doing you know root 11 over 6 that's a completely wrong thing to do or um, anything like that so so it's it's just root 11 divided by 6 and if you want you can calculate each one of these in your calculator um, and sometimes you have to do that so I mean I know you can calculate these numbers in your calculator and if you did so you would simply get you know this would be um, and round it to four decimal places this would be approximately 0 0.1667 plus and calculate root of 11 divided by 6 you get 0 0.5 Five two eight times i, right? And th then this one, of course, would be zero point one six six seven minus and root eleven over six again be zero point um, five five uh, two eight i. Okay. So sometimes you'll need to do that as well, but but usually you'll just leave it in this form here. 